Hello friends, my name is Promise and welcome to another vlog. Today is my part 3 of my blooming Hoyas and I just want to share with you my Hoya Abobata. And look at her, she is in bloom. And look at these beautiful flowers. I just love these blooms. Look at these friends, light pink and there is a dark pink or maroon in the middle what a beautiful flowers so this is my hoya obovata So I'm going to take her out from this shelf and I will put her down on the table so we can have a closer look into these beautiful flowers. Yes, this is one of my favorite Hoyas and one of my very first Hoyas. So this Hoya Obuvada, I believe I had this for two years and I just love touching these thick green leaves with few splashes. Pinkish, whitish splash and yeah, beautiful Hoya. I had her as a small cutting and yeah she's been doing good and grown and now she is in bloom yeah beautiful hoya obovata So this is her first time to bloom and at first I saw this peduncle a few months ago and I've been waiting for this to bloom but yeah it's still a peduncle so yeah this was the first peduncle here it is and it's still not in bloom and two weeks ago I saw a peduncle which is the one in bloom right now yes so it's her first time to bloom and i am just so happy that's why i just want to share this with you
I don't know how long these flowers will last because as what I've said this is her first time to bloom so we'll see I would know maybe a few days weeks I'm not sure but anyway I am just enjoying these beautiful flowers look at this wow what a beauty I just love this So she's been on this chunky soil mixture and I can feel it's super dry now and this needs water. Yeah, so I'm gonna water her and I usually do that at least once every 10 days or when I feel that the soil is super dry and I fertilize them at least once a week. Yes, she is a beauty. This is Hoya Obovada, which is a native to Southeast Asia, um, specifically Indonesia, India, Thailand, and Fiji. And they are one of the Hoyas that are easy to take care of. And they grow fast so here i just watered her and i'm gonna put her back to the pot and she will be on the shelf facing the east side window so she gets the morning sunlight and during the night i turn on the grow lights and yes she is happy and that's why she is in blue. So this is the part three of my blooming Hoyas and I really appreciate that you spend time with me enjoying the flower of my Hoya Obovada. Thank you so much friends for watching and I will see you on my next video, probably my part four for, with my blooming Hoyas. Thank you again and stay safe.